today we're going to be adding two new tenants to our Pi Rise apartment building, the newly released Raspberry Pi 5. We'll be unboxing the two microcomputers, installing the integrated heat sink and fan combo, and inserting these into the existing cluster tower that I've been using for the last handful of years. The end state will be a multi-generation stack of Pis with an RF antenna on the top. This will act as a base station to receive telemetry data from my custom PCB, transmitting temperature, pressure, and humidity data on the 915 MHz band. So let's dive right into the unboxing. These Raspberry Pi 5s are in high demand right now. They're a major upgrade in processing power from the previous generation with a faster processor, faster GPU, faster memory, and it has the ability to drive 4K monitors with ease. To give an idea of the type of demand that these are in right now, after pre-ordering from SparkFun roughly five months ago, they've only just now arrived. Pulling the board out, we're met with a familiar layout here. There are GPIO pins along the top to interface with other hardware, USB and Ethernet connectors on the right, the CPU is located right in the middle, there are two HDMI ports on the bottom, and the USB-C power connector with supporting circuitry is on the bottom left. Installing the heatsink is a very simple operation compared to previous Pis. I'm removing the protective film from the thermal pads which allow the heat from the ICs to transfer up into the sink more efficiently. I simply line it up and then press the plastic pins into the through holes on the board which lock it in place. Compared to previous iterations, this one has a fan controller which means that rather than having the fan on full blast 100% of the time, it can throttle the speed to match the cooling requirements. In order for the Raspberry Pi to boot, we need to flash an operating system onto a microSD card. Using the Raspberry Pi imaging tool, I write the OS to the card and then insert it into the bottom of the board. As a quick power on test, I hook up a short USB-C cable and the board powers up with no issues. The next step will be adding the two Raspberry Pis to the tower and I happen to have two remaining sets of hardware available in the kit. The disassembly and reassembly process is very satisfying and there's a professional feeling to this kit with every board being mounted precisely with excellent airflow available. The RF antenna spire is screwed to the top plate and maybe in a future video we'll clean up these messy wires by creating a custom PCB Pi hat. So for now this project is complete and we have all the Pis consolidated into a nice neat stack. Their arrangement enables tons of airflow for cooling and we can access all of the ports for future development with ease. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe and check back in for more embedded electronic projects coming soon.